All right, new at 10 tonight. If you ever look at your dog or your cat and you feel like they're looking right into your soul, maybe you're right. A group of art students at a local magnet school capturing the essence of these furry friends. They're pushing the message of adopt, don't shop. Fox 61's Carmen Chow shows us the impact of their pet portraits, or should we say, paw traits. When they see Granny, I want them to look into her eyes and see the little glowingness um, in her eyes. Standing in a grass of flowers, her mouth wide open and ears flopped back. Franny, a pit bull terrier, was one of the 13 pets waiting to be taken home, and she was. Not long after Dariana Pulasco's portrait was completed. I like, I want to put myself into the animals' um, positions and they're all sad and lonely and they don't have homes. Through natural talent and their love for art, these cats and dogs have a new place to call home. You know, I was really hoping to do blue for the background. Because for Oliver Colosino, painting Rosie the cat a calico was not easy. It took just over a month to perfect those perfect strokes of fur onto the canvas. You know, we would go up to the table and we'd get a plate and we put, you know, the different colors that we wanted to incorporate into the portrait. And um, some people had fun with it and did different colored backgrounds, like I did blue. Uh, the idea stemmed from Mrs. Wetmore, the student's visual arts teacher at Cooperative Arts and Humanities High School. Inspired by a similar project from another teacher in the Midwest, she made calls to the New Haven Animal Shelter for permission to help get some of their pets adopted through art. If they were struggling with a part of it, I had them um, do like practice boards. I would give them a piece of board and say, all right, let's practice uh, making fur. Let's practice making the whiskers. From practice to perfection, the portraits have been hung at the Mitchell Branch Library for a month now, hoping to catch the attention of visitors. It's fantastic, and everybody who comes in here just really loves it. With the overwhelming responses, only two are left to I be mean, adopted. Yeah. Sophie, the long-haired Calico, and Snoopy, the pit bull terrier. So we stopped by the New Haven Animal Shelter to find out more about them. <coughs> and we caught Sophie in the middle of her nap as she sleepily gazed at our right. camera. Then, her sign saying she is five years old and needs a patient family she can trust. There were roughly 13 cats and dogs waiting to be adopted here at the New Haven Animal Shelter. Sophie is one of them, thanks to a group of dedicated art students from a local school. Snoopy, on the other hand, was a ball of energy, a dog who has been at the shelter for over a year. Uh, she's, she's a really good dog. Um, one of her issues is she has to have uh, be a only uh, pet home um, and uh, probably, probably adult only, only pet home. So uh, we're looking for just the right home where she'll be successful. Officer Manganello is confident Snoopy's portrait will lead her to the right family. And it's almost like they captured the soul of the uh, of the pets and the pictures that they drew. So I mean, for me, uh, you know, when I saw the the pictures and the likenesses, I I, I thought it was right on. In New Haven, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News. Well, the paintings will be up at the library through the end of this month. If you're interested in adopting Sophie or Snoopy, we'll have a link with all of the information on fox61.com and on our Fox 61 News app.